Hey guys, so today I have for you a healthy dessert ideas video and this was so requested after I did my healthy breakfast and snacks video. So if you haven't seen either of those, I'll have the links to them in the down bar. And also, if you wanna see maybe a healthy lunch video, be sure to let me know in the comments and like this video. So the first recipe is a chocolate oat cake and oh my gosh, you guys, it is so amazing. So the first thing you're gonna need is some honey, one egg white, a fourth teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth teaspoon of cocoa powder, a fourth cup of almond milk, or you can use any milk, honestly, it's your preference, um, a fourth cup of oats, one packet of stevia for some extra sweetness, and then some fruit. So I know it seems like there's a lot of ingredients, but the directions are so, so simple. So you're basically just gonna take everything and put it all in a bowl and stir it up, minus the fruit. Wait on that for a little bit. Next, go ahead and grab a coffee mug of any kind, and I'm using some extra virgin olive oil just to make sure that the batter doesn't stick to it. So I'm just wiping down the mug. You can use some nonstick spray. I didn't have any, so I'm using this. And then I'm just going to take the cake batter, put it in the mug, and you wanna make sure that the top of it is nice and level because later we're gonna flip it over and we want that to be nice and straight. And then I'm gonna microwave that for about a minute and 15 seconds. So while we're waiting for the cup to cool because it was really hot just warning you, it's a great time to start cutting up any fruit or toppings that you want for your cake. And once the cup is cool, go ahead and just take off the mug and you should end up with something like this. And now you can start adding any toppings that you want. I went with Greek yogurt, some fruit and honey and let me tell you it was so, so good. And that is how you make chocolate oat cake. And if you guys wanna change the recipe a little bit, you totally can. You don't have to do the same toppings that I used. It's totally up to you, but that's the first recipe. The next one is peanut butter chocolate cookie bites, and they taste just as amazing as they sound. So the first thing that you need is a teaspoon of vanilla, a half cup of oats, a fourth cup of honey or agave, a fourth cup of almond flour or any flour, but this one is a little more healthier for you. Um, and then a fourth cup of peanut butter. And then a tablespoon of dark chocolate. And these directions are really similar to the chocolate oat cake ones where you're just basically gonna take everything and mix it all up in a bowl. <laughs> And next, all you have to do is grab some dough and roll them into about bite-sized pieces. And the best part about this is that there's no eggs or anything, so you don't have to bake them. They're no-bake cookies. And you should end up with something that looks like this. And personally, I put them in the fridge for maybe five minutes just so they weren't so sticky. And yeah, afterwards, they look like this, and they are so good. And the peanut butter makes them really high in protein. If you want to skip the chocolate to be more healthy, you totally can. Um, and then an extra option is adding apples with this. I thought it tasted really good. Good. They like totally complemented each other. So yeah, that's how you make the peanut butter chocolate chip cookie bites and seriously, they're so, so good. You guys are going to love them. And the last recipe is for ice cream lovers like myself and it is a vegan chocolate banana ice cream. So you're gonna need a fourth cup of almond milk, two bananas, some cocoa powder, and also some vanilla. So go ahead and cut your bananas into about bite-sized pieces and then we're just going to put them in a Tupperware. And then put them in the freezer for quite a few hours or at least until they're completely frozen. So you should have something that looks like this and then put them in a blender. But before you blend it, be sure to add all the rest of your ingredients. That includes the vanilla, the cocoa powder, and the milk. And then you are left with some amazing ice cream that is a lot better for you than the traditional kind, but it tastes just as good. 
So those are the three recipes that I had for you guys. If you ever recreate these, I would love to see a picture of them. So be sure to send them to me on Twitter or Instagram at at MacBaby11. And I would love to see those. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.